plastic-eating insect discovered in Kenya is the first of its kind in Africa. There's been an exciting new discovery in the fight against plastic pollution, mealworm larvae that are capable of consuming polystyrene. They join the ranks of a small group of insects that have been found to be capable of breaking the polluting plastic down, though this is the first time that an insect species native to Africa has been found to do this. Polystyrene, commonly known as styrofoam, is a plastic material that's widely used in food, electronic, and industrial packaging. It's difficult to break down and therefore durable. Traditional recycling methods, like chemical and thermal processing, are expensive and can create pollutants. This was one of the reasons they wanted to explore biological methods of managing this persistent waste. Part of a team of scientists from the International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology who have found that the larvae of the Kenyan lesser mealworm can chew through polystyrene and host bacteria in their guts that help break down the material. The lesser mealworm is the larval form of the Alphatobius darkling beetle. The larval period lasts between 8 and 10 weeks. The lesser mealworm are mostly found in poultry rearing houses, which are warm and can offer a constant food supply, ideal conditions for them to grow and reproduce. Though lesser mealworms are thought to have originated in Africa, they can be found in many countries around the world. The species they identified in their study, however, could be a subspecies of the Alphatobius genus. They are conducting further investigation to confirm this possibility. By studying these natural plastic eaters, they hope to create new tools that help get rid of plastic waste faster and more efficiently. Instead of releasing a huge number of these insects into trash sites, which isn't practical, they can use the microbes and enzymes they produce in factories, landfills, and cleanup sites. This means plastic waste can be tackled in a way that's easier to manage at a large scale. Key findings, they carried out a trial lasting over a month. The larvae were fed either polystyrene alone, bran, a nutrient-dense food alone, or a combination of polystyrene and bran. They found that mealworms on the polystyrene bran diet survived at higher rates than those fed on polystyrene alone. They also found that they consumed polystyrene more efficiently than those on a polystyrene-only diet. This highlights the benefits of ensuring the insects still had a nutrient-dense diet. While the polystyrene-only diet did support the mealworm's survival, they didn't have enough nutrition to make them efficient in breaking down polystyrene. This finding reinforced the importance of a balanced diet for the insects to optimally consume and degrade plastic. The insects could be eating the polystyrene because it's mostly made up of carbon and hydrogen, which may provide them an energy source. The mealworms on the polystyrene brand diet were able to break down approximately 11.7% of the total polystyrene over the trial period. Gut Bacteria The analysis of the mealworm gut revealed significant shifts in the bacterial composition depending on the diet. Understanding these shifts in bacterial composition is crucial because it reveals which microbes are actively involved in breaking down plastic. This will help us to isolate the specific bacteria and enzymes that can be harnessed for plastic degradation efforts. The guts of polystyrene-fed larvae were found to contain higher levels of proteobacteria and firmicutes, bacteria that can adapt to various environments and break down a wide range of complex substances. Bacteria such as Clivera, Lactococcus, Citrobacter, and Klebsiella were also particularly abundant and are known to produce enzymes capable of digesting synthetic plastics. The bacteria won't be harmful to the insect or to the environment when used at scale. The abundance of bacteria indicates that they play a crucial role in breaking down the plastic. This may mean that mealworms may not naturally have the ability to eat plastic. Instead, when they start eating plastic, the bacteria in their guts might change to help break it down. Thus, the microbes in the mealworms' stomachs can adjust to unusual diets, like plastic. These findings support the hypothesis that the gut of certain insects can enable plastic degradation. This is likely because the bacteria in their gut can produce enzymes that break down plastic polymers. This raises the possibility of isolating these bacteria and the enzymes produced to create microbial solutions that will address plastic waste on a larger scale.